I am both happy and annoyed. The result. <laughs> now the fact that I just spent $75 on a refill is absolutely absurd. What is this? What is this? Looks, apt. it looks insane in here. I mean, please. Friday. It's around 9 a.m. in the morning. I'm fully dressed. Okay. Is today's outfit really? I've had this. This set is from Fashion Nova. I've literally had this set for so long and I've never worn it. Please don't ask me why. I don't. This is. I, I'm not sure. I don't know why, but this is the fit. Currently wearing slippers. I might wear these. Um, I don't know yet. Or my tan bands. So, very simple outfit. I'm headed out to go get my nails done, girl. Okay, this is what we're giving currently. I want to get them cut down a little bit and then just the refill. I don't think I'm going to get any um, any more little diamonds. I feel like we'll just have just a little simple ombre um, for these next few weeks. And then, honestly, after that, I'll probably soak these off. I'm, well, not probably. I'm definitely going to soak these off because I'm already, you know, like kind of tired of looking at this color and stuff. So, I'm like, I'll get one more refill stick with this little fringe and then I'll soak these off and then at that point I'll decide am I gonna go get my nails done again and be an acrylic girly a little bit longer or am I gonna go back um to my press on so yeah I'm getting ready to go ahead and head out the door girl um after that we have to um we have to run some errands I have to go to the grocery store I must go to the grocery store I have like a really long list y'all know when I went with my when my mom was here I got some stuff but I didn't get too too much because I was getting ready to do that cleanse so I was really getting just like a lot of stuff to make salads and like fruits and stuff but I need like real regular food like I literally have no fish I only have like shrimp and that's it like I don't have any like frozen vegetables like broccoli corn like li literally nothing like so I have to get a bunch of stuff from the grocery store and then um oh then I want to run to Target as well to go get some more of these bins right here Tomorrow I plan to do some kind of something in here. I need to do laundry for one. And then I also am feeling like, I don't know if we're gonna do the beauty room setup tomorrow or if I'm just gonna like, cause I never put, oh, so it's been a few days. Like I never um, did anything else. I never put away my hair products. We never did the spice, um, spice drawer um the thing the drying thing for the sink like never did any of that I ended up just editing I edited my vlog for Sunday then I also edited my spiritual vlog to post on my other channel so yeah girl I, I was editing so we didn't do anything so like I haven't um I haven't done anything since I last saw you guys so y'all have not missed anything okay so um so yeah that's we'll see um exactly what we're gonna do tomorrow but I'm gonna go ahead and head out the door nails probably a little nail montage maybe depending on depending on the vibes and you know, how, how the clips are looking. But yeah, I will see you guys in a minute. Please, <laughs> Houston just does anything. Please tell me why I'm at the nail salon. I just got here. I'm literally standing right outside. My appointment's at 9.30. It's 9.31. I was here probably like five minutes early. I pull up and they have a, a big like valet thing by the parking lot and I'm like wait what is going on so you cannot park on the street it literally says no parking on the street and then I make the block I come back and so I'm asking I stop in and I ask the guy I'm like what is going on here like this this parking lot right here is only valet and he's like oh yeah it's only valet I'm like how much is it he says it's only tips so I'm like okay um that's fine but sometimes my key gets stuck so I'm literally waiting for this man to come back This is like so funny to me. I have never in my life seen anything like this before. This is hilarious. I can't, what? <laughs> And annoyed. 
I hate having people get in my car. Every time I get back in, this is the second time I've had to valet in Houston. Y'all know when we went to, um, literally the, after the second day I had been here, when we went to Gloria's and the parking lot was valet only, like what? And I got back in the car, my radio wouldn't come on, all my mirrors were effed up, like it wouldn't connect to my car, char my phone wouldn't connect to my car charger, like it was just foolery. And I get back in my car today, the same shit. I don't know if like this is some kind of thing in Houston where they like turn everything off when they get in your car. Like just turn the volume down if you don't want to hear the music I'm playing because now I have to sit here and wait for this dashboard thing to restart. I get back in my car. All the What have you done to my mirrors? You haven't even been. I'm so <laughs> I just I don't understand it. And this all of this right here on this street there are literally signs that say no parking because it's two lanes going this way and two lanes going that way and they have these signs that say no parking but people are parked here in this second lane the one that's closest to the buildings and stuff so it's basically like you have two functional lanes even though you should have four because people are parking here i don't see tickets so i don't know if they give people parking tickets or what but i think i'm just gonna try and I might just like test my luck next time um, or see if he can because honestly when he didn't take my key I should have just because I pulled into the spot myself because I was literally just right there I should have just went inside and just locked my car which is what I think I'll be doing next time if I park in that lot I didn't leave a tip or anything because I feel like you didn't do anything like why are you here I, this I don't get it on the bright side of things my nails are amazing <laughs> My nails came out so cute. Now, the fact that I just spent $75 on a refill is absolutely absurd, but I really love the way they came out. Like, did a great, 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 great job. Like, the shape, the color, the ombre, like, ugh, I got them cut down a little bit as well. I just love them. So pretty. <sighs> Woosah. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about the valet, so there's no point in continuing to go back and forth with it. At this point, I fix my mirrors and I fix my radio. So that's that's what matters at this point. So now I am hungry. I I have a slight headache. I don't know what is going on because like I didn't eat anything yesterday that I feel like would have the potential of giving me a migraine. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm just tired or what, but because I definitely get migraines when I have not had enough sleep which I did not okay <laughs> literally when I said that 999 and 4444 literally just passed me could not make this up so anyways all of that to say I have to go to the grocery store that is a must but I also like really must go to Target and get these things I was thinking about going to Starbucks but why don't I just go to Target first and then I can go to Starbucks inside of Target because I really want a banana loaf so let me see, Target nearby. Okay, Shern Street, I think is the one that's in the Heights. I wanna go to the, I think the, the Westheimer one is the River Oaks location, which I like that one when I went to that one. Is it? I can't tell, but no, that's not it. No, I remember this. I'm trying, y'all, because this is so funny because I don't know where anything is. Like I don't, I have no idea. So I know I went, maybe it's not one of those. Oh, this, okay, that one is too far. That one is 15 minutes from here. The San Felipe is the River Oaks location. I, the River Oaks location is fire. Like, I really like that one over there, but it doesn't make sense. I say it doesn't make sense. Well, by this time, they should have, I'm, I'm literally just rambling. By this time, they should have restocked the stuff. Um, they should have restocked the Target. this so badly what okay so it is 11 34 on the clock i went to target y'all saw a little mini target clip and i just ran into trader joe's just to get some fruit granola and some um oh damn i forgot to look to see if they had the fish at this location they have rainbow trout at the um at the trader joe's in new orleans um but i went to one of the trader joe's here and they didn't have it i meant to check here but i forgot so i'm not going back in whatever but baby what is this what is this 
never seen it now i know there was like this huge craze over the brazil nut body butter in the jar i never tried it because by the time i had went to trader joe's they didn't have any and she was like oh it's seasonal she doesn't know when it'll be back so i guess the stuff is starting to come back now i didn't they had a display in the um in the impulse buys okay um in the line the wraparound line so that's where this was i don't know if they had the body butter in the store by like in another area but i didn't see it so i am geeked first of all it says the smell is a delightful salted caramel and pistachio scent i don't know what it smells like because i never i don't want to open i'm not about to open this in here because it's oil i don't want to get it um get it anywhere but you already know i'm gonna use it today okay and i feel like based on what it says it's gonna be like a sweet smelling scent i think people were saying it was a dupe for the um the bum bum cream or boom boom cream um that you can get from like sephora or whatever so yeah girl i'm <laughs> i'm excited to try this out i'll pair it with some um vanilla body oil we're gonna try it out today so y'all will um y'all will get to know my thoughts okay when i use it after i take my shower tonight so now the only oh the only thing i need to do is go to the grocery store um yeah i got a banana loaf out of target so i'm about to finish this up and see actually i need to see what grocery store is near here so i can go ahead and go to that go to that and then i'm gonna go ahead and head to my neck of the woods okay so yeah girl i'll talk to you um, i probably will not vlog in the grocery store because i feel like what the, i don't know if it's this vlog or the vlog before this it was a lot of like grocery shopping and stuff so it's like y'all really want to see the same thing again like we can do a little haul when i get home um but yeah i'm about to run in the grocery store get what i need and uh run out okay Hola. i am back home it is 2 42 so i i don't know what the last thing is I showed y'all, I don't think, was it Trader Joe's when we were talking about the um, the body oil? Because since then I went to the grocery store, I went to, I ran to Walgreens and, well I went to two grocery stores actually, I went to one, I came home, I ran to Walgreens and I ran to another grocery store and now I'm officially back home getting ready to put um, everything away. So yeah, that's really just it. I really just wanted to let you guys know that I was back home and then I'm about to put this stuff away. Do y'all need to watch me put this stuff away? Probably not really. Um, everything that was not refrigerated, I just left out while I ran out to the other grocery store. It's just so funny shopping in new places and like seeing what grocery stores have what and like them having stuff, but like the brands being different, like it's all very odd. <laughs> So I'm just, um, really, I'm just getting ready to put this stuff away. And then I need to clean off my counter because I never took a thumbnail picture um, for my very first vlog that I'm posting Sunday. I was supposed to take a picture sitting up here on the counter like, <laughs> like that for my moving, um, my thumbnail for my first moving vlog. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead, put this stuff away, take that. And then I'm going to come back because once I come back, we're going to try on, um, did, Y'all didn't even see, because I didn't I didn't show a lot when I was in Target, but I picked up two pairs of pants. So these pants right here, they're um they're like real, like real material, like real little real pants. So I'm their fitting rooms, it was like they were locked and it was like find a um an associate to open it for you or whatever. So I was just like, don't even worry about it. I'll just buy them. Um, because I know I'm gonna have to go back to Target because I'm probably not gonna use all these um clear bins that I bought. So I got these to try on. I also got, these are just like um, yoga pants. They didn't have any small, so I ended up getting a medium, but I feel like they're, I mean, they're fitted. So I feel like the medium should be good. They look like they're gonna be a good length. So that's it for the clothes, but I do wanna try both of those two things on. I got this cozy cashmere for my wax melt that I have sitting over there. And then I got this little over the door hanger. From my closet i only got one so we'll see if i like it and then maybe i'll get another one but yeah so we're gonna try these so what i'm about to do is put the rest of this stuff away take my thumbnail picture and then i'm gonna come back and we can try on the pants and we'll go from there i took my thumbnail pick wait the pants look like they are giving hold on because if they fit good i'm gonna have to go back and get other colors what please First of all, the waist, waist, this elastic in the back, just, it just gives. It gives. These are so nice. Please. Now, mm, maybe could do a kitten heel 
I don't have any heels out to test it out, but these are definitely like, they touch the ground, so I could have worn them. Like, honestly, I don't have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff behind me, but y'all can see here. Okay, waist, little two little pleats, belt loops, and then it has the elastic in the back, so that's perfect, perfect for your waist. These were $32. These are nice. These are nice. I feel like these would be cute. Y'all know how the girls are wearing like little like pants like this with like New Balance or you know like a little sneaker or whatever. I definitely could have done that vibe for today. I don't know, maybe even like my little, let me see how my furry slides look. I don't think I like it with the furry slides, but definitely could do sneakers with this these would have been cute for today like these with the um just like a fitted bodysuit that goes inside some sneakers a little crossbody bag these are really really cute and they had a lot of colors so this fit so good oh my god i want other colors i want other colors. i do have a little bit just a little bit of the gap in the back because they're medium but most likely for one it's not that bad let me see I'm not really a roll down type of girl though. Yeah, if I roll them down, then I don't have the gap, but I'm not really a roll down type of girl. And honestly, I'll probably have my shirt on the outside anyway, so it won't really matter. It's not huge. It's not huge, but you could definitely see it. And they touch the floor. So I am almost 5'8", and they touch the floor. So, well, they almost touch the floor. Oh, nice. Oh, love these. Love these, love these, love these. And they had these in other colors as well. I'm kind of like, ooh, I want like gray and stuff. Because even in the summer, spring, I would still wear these if I want to wear pants or, you know, if my legs are not shaved or something like that and I just need to throw on something, I could totally put these on. So these are a vibe. I wish they were a tad bit longer. Y'all can see they almost come to the floor. Another reason that I wanted to get a medium as well because I was like, I might have better luck with length if I get a medium instead of a small. Hey Target girl, we see you, we see you. Okay, so it's 316. I have to reassemble my kitchen <laughs> after I just um, finished taking my thumbnail pics. So I'll probably go ahead and put that um, on my vlog, do my tags and stuff, get that ready for Sunday. And then, yeah, I might, did I tell y'all that my head was kind of hurting? I don't know, but it's feeling better now. So I may, I might film a little evening in my soft life on TikTok, for TikTok and Instagram. We'll see if I feel like doing that. Follow me, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I don't, if I do that, I'll probably show y'all a little bit, but it's not gonna be like a full, full montage for y'all if I'm doing one for TikTok and Instagram, cause y'all know how it is. Okay, so yeah, I'll return. Good morning and happy Saturday. It is 9.33 in the morning. We are getting ready to get started. So I didn't come back and show you guys anything last night. Girl, follow me on TikTok. Okay, I did do a little um, TikTok reel of my, um, what I call my an evening in my soft life, <laughs> which is literally just like uh, body care, skincare, and then dinner. So yeah, it came out really cute. I'm excited to edit it and, um, and post it. So yes um we're getting ready to get started so um what do i want to do today actually the first thing that i'm going to do is pull my sheets off of my bed because i need to wash my sheets i also need to do like laundry as well so i'm going to go ahead and start off with laundry sorting laundry or whatever this will be my first time like really really doing laundry um like full out here so we're going to start off with that and then we're going to go ahead and finish up under the sinks the um bins that we bought yesterday um, organizing my skincare and stuff under the sink getting all of that together and really just trying to get rid of really trying to get rid of as many boxes as I can like if it's not going in the beauty room if, if it's not going to be if it's not makeup if it's not going to be um, heels purses sunglasses that's going to be displayed on our bookshelves the rug whatever if it's not that then like it we need to we need to start wrapping it up okay it's been two weeks now I'm not mad at myself <laughs> because I have been, um, the time that I've taken away from working on this stuff, I've been editing. So it's like, you know, you can't do everything. I'm, I'm not, I'm only one person. I'm about to be like, I'm not two people. I'm only one person. Okay. So I can only do one thing at a time. And I also, um, I need, I need breaks. I need rest. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> it's 934 girl. Let's, let's pull off these sheets and get started with this laundry.
working with, we have our three pull out, I think it's backwards or upside down or something, but the three pull out drawers and then these two here. So this is what under, under this sink is looking like. We have this, this is literally just, I showed y'all this already, just body sprays and like bubble bath. And then we're about to pull this out. So let's see what fits first. Okay, yeah, that fits perfectly. So love that. And then I brought these little narrow ones. Yeah, it does. But I feel like the other square ones are too wide, though. See, this is too wide to go here. So I guess maybe I should take this one out. But I feel like I can put this up here. So we can do this here like this. We can do that like that. This will be pull out. So this I could do like um, mask and stuff. And then we have this here. Now maybe I should remove this one. Because I could always use this one in my hair bathroom. And then put this one here and I could put this in front of that that looks nice so I think I want to rearrange actually so let's let's try this again actually you guys I think I might film a little TikTok for this because I filmed one for that cabinet so I'm like why don't I film it for this cabinet oh I'm about to go ahead and assemble this and then I will come back and show you guys the final result I just wanted to pop in and say we are making progress. <laughs> Even though it looks apt, it looks insane in here. I mean, please. This, we're coming along, we're coming along, okay? This, this is absolutely giving. Like, how stunning does this look? Please. We're fini. Finally, finally. Oh my gosh, I think it came out amazingly. Full view. Soaps and everything for the bikini line. Serums. Eye creams and like moisturizers and some serums as well. And these are pretty much mask down here and maybe like some cleansers. All my Bath and Body Works sprays and lotions. An array of different things. <laughs> Oils and just like a little tea tree oil, a little Vaseline, and these are like three little body sprays that are not Bath & Body Works. We have our one drawer cotton, co what is this? It says cotton swabs, Q-tips, um, little contact um, cases, toothbrushes, a little razors for my face, face mask, my dry brush, little band-aids and stuff. This one I think is literally just gonna be like scarves and like things I used to like tie down my edges and stuff on a regular basis, bonnets. And then this is like my little everyday makeup stuff, like mascara, lip balm, lash curler, little skincare things, lay my edges, little comb, um, scissors, um, clips. Usually I have a scrunchie in here, I don't know where it is. And then, y'all saw this one already, really. I added a few more things. These are all my EOS lotions all my shave oils body creams jars the um tubes these are all sugar scrubs a few more here the clean skin cup clean skin club um y'all know the little like face towels and this is what is this mostly like scrubs some cleansers and these are all no body washes and these are all body washes back here so I'm really, really happy. I love, love, love the way everything came out. Hi, I'm on Isaac tonight. I am officially, officially on my paper tags. Um, I just got back like 30 minutes before this. But before that, y'all, yeah, I'm not going to walk into my office. I wanted to pick y'all up, but I'm like, you know what? And then the chili shrimp pasta. Yo. Okay.
Okay, y'all, so it's 2.20. I am exhausted. <laughs> oh my gosh, doing that um, bathroom, like I'm so happy that it's completely done. So since then, I know I showed y'all the final result of the bathroom. I ate some food. I ate some food. That's like so big. I made grits and egg. I ate that while I was watching Jeannie. Y'all saw me folding towels. I've been switching out the laundry. My sheets are about to be dry soon, so I'll be able to put those back on the bed. And I also cleaned my bathroom. So I, I cleaned the sinks, the countertop, the toilet, the shower, the shower floor. I swept, I mopped. So now we're good to go. I'm gonna wash, go ahead and wash my rugs again. And then I'll put those down and then we'll be good. So now it's like, okay, everything is in place in the bathroom. Bathroom is clean. All the products are in there. Everything I need is in there. So we're, we're good to go. No more walking in there with shoes, just acting like, you know, we're, we're still in the midst of things. We're not, we're settled. We're settled in the bathroom and we're settled in that closet. Except I might, um, I might end up putting some purses in that closet after we do the beauty room, but we're, we're done. So we're done in there, we're good. Put my sheets on the bed once those are dry and then probably just go ahead, honestly, and sweep and mop the, um, sweep and mop my bedroom floor as well and then be done like walking in there with shoes. Just, you know, like keeping everything nice and clean in my bedroom. Put that over the door hanger, on the door, hang up some of my robes and stuff. So yeah, so anyways, all this, we're in the kitchen, obviously. This is under the sink. So I'm thinking, y'all remember we got these, right? So I'm like, um, hello, India. Like, I saw a little reel um, on Instagram that obviously, obviously the reel was on Instagram. I saw a reel and it was under the sink organization. I was like, oh my gosh, I did not even think about putting my cleaning products in anything under the sink. So I feel like this one, this one is cool. This one will be like the perfect one to use in here. So I'm trying to see if I wanna do two, two of these side by side, how I wanna arrange this. Let's see. Dry on it that will absorb the oil within like the first few hours. I think I heard that that gets oil stains out. I've never tried it. Yeah. Oh no. But y'all let me know down below, does that actually work? I had to use two side by side, but I'm like, let me just go ahead and start stacking this stuff because I need this space. So I think I want this to just be like, where's my other glass cleaner? My spray glass cleaner. Where did I put it? Did I get all my products? I'm thinking like glass cleaners multi-purpose cleaner like this bleach spray um maybe this this is my dawn dish that i use in the sink that um oh let me see oh this little bit of lysol bleach let's put that one in there put this in here this common spray and then maybe these these are my soft scrubs for like the tub and stuff. Could do those. Hey, that might, maybe like that'll be good. And then let's see what we can do with the other one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let me see if these are gonna work. This one works. So I'm gonna have to move this. This gonna have to be. I was not planning on organizing this today, but I mean, might as well. Might as well. Should I try to put these in it as well? This is my my soap refills pine saw. Um, I feel like these wipes could maybe go right there. And then I'm trying to group the things so that they make sense, but I don't know. I guess I could take these and put them right in the middle. so nice. I am so excited about this. <laughs> oh, I'm 
loving it. So we have just multi-purpose cleaners, glass cleaner, stuff for tubs. Um, what is this? Trash bags. And then like smell goods like Febreze, wipes, air fresheners, soap um, for my refills. And then, you know, y'all see what it is, okay? I'm loving it. Loving it. Ah, $2.55. <laughs> I'm about to put this thing in my oh let me actually see no i feel like this is perfect yeah i feel like maybe i should have gotten two of these why i only got one well because i'm not sure how the door is gonna close but i'm like let me do this but i also forgot i was thinking i was gonna move on to the other bathroom and put how am i gonna get this off and put away my hair products but i forgot that i bought um the shoe rack thing for my closet. I don't know if I showed it to y'all yet or not, but it came this week. I just ordered it from Amazon. It's just a black like shoe rack thing, but it has to be put together. So I'm like, instead of moving to a new area, why don't I just continue on with the bedroom and the closet? So let's hang this up. Really cannot even see, but I'm gonna put it on this side of the door. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I'm happy. Oh, wait, does it close? Yeah, it does. Okay. I'm just, um, I'm really happy that they have this one in white because the silver is like so obvious, you know, because the doors are white. So I don't know how many, I'm, it only have two hooks, but I've literally just been throwing my um, robes right here. So let me put this one on because this one is like long and big and really, yeah. So I feel like I'll put that there and then like an everyday robe. Oh, this, the only thing about, oh yes, I can hang it like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that might literally, I could probably hang two. So let's hang, like this will be an everyday robe. Like when I come, literally when I come inside, I usually like take off all my clothes and just put a robe on. So I'm like, I can have that hang up and then I'll have one that's like cute. If I'm getting ready or something or filming content, I can this one you it doesn't have a thing either so I'm gonna just have to see if it'll stay like this yeah okay so that's gonna be that I'm like uh do I wanna I guess I could get a second one for right here but I hate like I don't want it to get stuck like while I'm trying to open the door so I might just keep these here I have another over the door hanger I just don't know where it is so I feel like I'll keep these in here and then my other robes I think I'm just gonna put in the other closet okay let's go ahead and put together this my bad <laughs> I'm so sorry to the person the person below me um let me just I don't know I hope this is pretty simple to like put together I didn't know how it was gonna come but like Simple to put together, but I hope it's sturdy. Okay. Let me till y'all down. together sturdy only thing is look at this okay so they're like three and then two y'all see right and then it's like two and then three and then two and then three three and then two like they're not they're not all lining up but I feel like I'm just gonna leave it because you know the shoes are gonna be on it anyway so let's put it into the closet really the fact that it fits so perfectly in the space literally exactly enough space <laughs> for all of my tennis shoes so now I need to figure out about my sandals uh, happy Wednesday it is 325 on the clock girl we are getting ready to 
I literally just hit myself in the face. We are getting ready to do the spice jars. So I am super duper excited because I have literally just been pulling stuff out of Ziplocs for two weeks now. So I'm really, really excited to get a move on it with these. So we have our labels. Y'all know, I showed y'all everything. I showed y'all these too, I'm pretty sure. This is what they look like. So I'm actually gonna make a little thing of dishwater, go ahead and get these all nice and clean. And then I guess maybe I should have done that yesterday, but I'll try to dry them really good before I put in um, the spices. I'm also recording a little TikTok reel, so be sure to follow me over there, okay? Um, so yeah, girl, that's what's going on. Literally, I don't know the last thing I showed y'all. It's been a few days. I, whatever day, I think that was Saturday where we did a ton of stuff like laundry, bathroom organization, all of that. I, I haven't done much other like house stuff since then. I've really just been like making content. I filmed a shower routine yesterday. That's about to go up in a few minutes. So girl, if you have not seen the shower routine and you're into body care stuff, definitely go check it out after you finish watching this vlog. But yeah, girl, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do this. Whether you didn't know your mom, whether your mom is alive or not, you know, at the end of the day, you can still heal this relationship. So let's start here. First thing first, I want you to close your eyes. Hello. Happy Thursday. I have to double check. Happy Thursday. <laughs> it is 332. Oh, 333. Okay, it's 333 on the clock. And I just finished filming for the day. So I know we didn't we didn't do too too much with the seasonings girl with anytime i film a tiktok it's like i i can't do too much of of both like i just cannot <laughs> so y'all definitely sure follow me on tiktok for all my little um my little like under cabinet organization all my little organization videos girl and y'all just get like just a little bit of something so the seasonings came out fire okay i'm i'm obsessed <laughs> i am obsessed i just love i just love it i mean y'all saw it it looks so pretty and like it's just like, oh my gosh, everything is just so organized. Like you can just grab what you need. You can see everything clearly. I just love it. So, oh, okay, birds in the sky. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. And then today I got ready. I filmed. If y'all didn't know, girl, I have, well, I have three channels, really. If y'all are new, girl, this is my lifestyle channel, vlogs, body care, shower routines, all that kind of stuff. I have a hair channel. I post over there occasionally, like when I do a new hairstyle, but there are tons of hair videos over there. So if you're interested, girl, check that out. And then also, everything is linked in the description box down below. Hair channel is India Ajay. And then I have another channel called the Spiritual Baddie 555. If you're on a spiritual journey, a healing journey, a self-development journey girl great channel for you I, it's like all it's literally all spiritual content and like self-help self-development type of stuff so i was filming some content for over there today and now i think um i think that i'm going to do a little bit of organizing i the main main thing we still have to do is putting the beauty room together it's too late today plus the lighting is not that great tomorrow is friday i don't know if i'm like let me see because the thing is i'm gonna film uh y'all will get some behind the scenes but i'm gonna film a tiktok um for it it's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow again but i'm like maybe we should i'm trying to think like i still need to edit my vlog for sunday and i need to edit one of the videos i filmed today to post on sunday so i kind of need to do that first but I'm like maybe I should wait and do that Saturday because Saturday and Sunday is supposed to rain so if it's gonna rain it's definitely gonna be too dark to set that up and film content so we'll see we might do the beauty room tomorrow if we don't do it tomorrow then maybe Monday Tuesday I have to go and film content for a brand so we'll see something like that but I think I'm about to go ahead and put my hair 
products and stuff together. Um, I'm not gonna film a TikTok for that, so I might give y'all a little bit of behind the scenes. But literally, I just wanted to check in and just be like, hey girl, hey, what's up? Um, this is what's going on in my life right now. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and change. I gotta kind of like fix up my furniture and stuff again. And then, um, and then change clothes and start working on those hair products. Maybe till like work on the hair stuff till maybe like five. It's 3.30, so maybe till like five. And then I wanna film a get on ready with me. And then that'll be it for the filming for the day. I was thinking about going out and like getting some food, but I don't think that I am. I think I'm just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna eat, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay, y'all. Oh, we're about to go ahead and get started. I have a lot of hair products. I did declutter when I, um, when I was packing. So everything that's in here, I do want to keep. So, yeah. Oh, let me get the mids. Okay, so we have, I'm pretty sure I should have enough for everything. We have this one with this top on it. Oh, let me, let me just put it on the floor. The floor is clean. Um, then I'm planning to fit this open one on top of the channel, the same way we did in the other bathroom. And then I have this long rectangle one um, from my previous apartment. So we're gonna use these three. This should fit perfectly under here um, with all these products. And yeah, I'm just about to really just start stacking this stuff in. Shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too much. It's not gonna be as like detailed as I feel like my under cabinet was, you know? So we're gonna see, girl, I'm watching Club Shay Shay. Okay, he had Monique on there, so I'm gonna watch the Monique interview. That's crazy. Did y'all see the Cat Williams interview? 57 million views. That is insane. <laughs> that is insane. I wonder what the most um, watched video on YouTube is and like how many views the most watched video has. Like, that's just insane. Like, I, I just wanna know. So. Yeah, girl, I'm about to watch this Monique interview. Hers so far has 4.7 million. Oh, and it's only, oh, and it's only been up a day. Okay, so people want to see what Monique had to say. Okay, Miss Parker. <laughs> Miss Parker. So, yeah. Hello, Let's to begin. A famed Hollywood star, a powerful name in the industry, a better stand up comedian, a mother, a wife, a legend, the one, the only Monique. <laughs> So that's how it's looking. I could use one rectangle one in the middle, so we'll see if I end up needing it or not. Well, probably the last clip that y'all saw, I was in this bathroom because I was putting my um, my hair stuff away. I literally just stopped recording <laughs> because I was just like, bro, I just want to go ahead and get this done. I'll just show y'all the after. It's nothing, 
you know, it's nothing crazy. I feel like it's not as fun as like putting together the body care and stuff. But anyways, girl, it is Saturday morning. It is 949 on the clock and I'm getting ready to cut this crochet braid style out of my head. I've had just about enough of this. <laughs> it's not really the hair. I mean, the hair is old, but like I could make it work. It's just, it's the front. Like I just can't, y'all can't even really see, I feel like because of the lighting, but I just cannot be, I just can't be bothered with like the front because it's, it doesn't blend, you know, like it's grown out and like it's, it's just it's just not it <laughs> where did i put that bag okay so i um so i'm gonna cut this out of my head i'm gonna do a little like a quick a quick style so i have this um this half wig with like this matching top ponytail part from sensational i think it's the ud2 if you guys know what those sensational ones look like like they have a bunch of them like ud1 ud2 ud6 like many of them it's basically just a half wig and then another part that you can attach for a ponytail so i'm gonna use the back part i actually have one here but i ordered a fresh one from amazon so it's gonna come tomorrow it's just like a little like a little wavy summer curl basically so i'm gonna put that on the back and then i'm gonna braid down the back of my head put that half wig on the back and then this front part i'm gonna do a middle part and i'm gonna blow dry all my hair and i'm just gonna do two twists on each side and like bring it to the back so i feel like that'll be cute pretty quick easy um yeah so that's that's gonna be the plan i really didn't want to do like too too much i didn't want to do another crochet i didn't feel like installing like twist or anything like that because i'm actually still thinking about going to get a keratin treatment pretty soon so i didn't want to do anything you know that was gonna last like too too long so yeah girl that's what's going on this morning so i'm just getting ready to get started i really just wanted to check in i'm probably not oh the other thing is i gotta see how i'm gonna wash my hair <laughs> because y'all can see behind me right the standing shower now this is a standing shower then y'all know i have another I have, what standing shower in this bathroom in my bathroom i also have a standing shower and i have that separate tub but that separate tub is too big like there's no way i can like hold my head over in the tub and wash my hair like that like i normally do so that's out the question so either i'm gonna have to I, I kind of just want to see how strong the shower water is like midway down like can I just stand in the shower like this and just hold my head over like that or do I need to go back to washing my hair in the kitchen sink so we're gonna see it's gonna be one of those one of those two because there's no other option so it's gonna be one of those two we're gonna figure it out today that's why I'm not filming I'm gonna film the um I'm gonna film the hair part like the actual like me the hairstyle like me braiding down my hair putting on the half wig all that kind of stuff i'll make a little real little tiktok for that but the hair washing part we got to figure out what exactly is going to be going on so yeah i'll check in with y'all later <laughs> the result <laughs> so i'm taking out all my hair i'm getting well taking out all the crochet braid hair girl i still have all this hair left on my head okay so what let me show you guys my products since i'm down here voila it's giving i really love it so i'm gonna get a rectangular one to go in between this because these are like hair oils and stuff back there i think this is this is what i'm about to grab now shampoos conditioners leave-ins deep conditioners and like cream like curl products and then other things heat protectants and like foamy mousses and stuff so I'm thinking today I'm going to be using some Vegamore products again. I do have this Olaplex that they sent me, but oh, I don't know. Maybe I should use the Olaplex. But I feel like Olaplex is really good if you have like heat and I'm not, I mean, I'm doing a blow dry today, but I'm not doing like, I'm gonna save it because hopefully my hair is straight soon. So I'm gonna use this today. I really like these, the Vegamore Grow products this is the shampoo this is the conditioner and then i'm gonna use oh i need an oh my god i don't even have enough of this i'm gonna make it work this talia wahid to uh detangle my hair this is i always start off with conditioner conditioner and detangling then i'll shampoo and then condition and deep condition so yeah and then i don't even know i'll probably have to use I said I'm gonna use that, but actually I'm not. I'm gonna use the Hydrate Collection because I'm gonna use the Hydrate Collection because that's the deep conditioner that I have the most of. So let me see, I think this one is already open. It's not already open. I thought I had one. It was this one. Already open. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take this, this, and then I'm actually gonna put this back, and I'm gonna grab this. These are both shampoos. So I'm thinking, yeah, shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner. Okay. My idea, do I look insane? <laughs> idea is literally just to let me see does this even stay open for one it does literally just to stand here and hold my head over and wash my hair like that some of you may ask India why don't you just get in the shower and wash your hair you know like other people do it because I am not other people <laughs> because my I have natural hair like it's just too long of a routine like I'm not gonna be in the shower all this time for 20,000 steps of washing my hair getting in and out of the shower like like it just it's not feasible to me for somebody who has hair like mine so you know if you like to do it that way then girl by all means but for me holding my head over the tub or washing my hair in the sink has been the vibe for my whole life so now I'm just like let me just see how this works And I'm trying not to get wet as well, so it's like, ugh, oh, we're gonna see. My hair's so itchy. I use this, um, I don't know, this might work. I want it to work because I would love to keep, you know, just everything contained in one space versus having to like pack up my hair products and like throw them to the kitchen. Then I gotta like, I gotta clean this. Well, the sink is clean, there are no dishes in it, but I gotta like, you know, clean the sink, clean the area around it, bring the hair products, you know, versus just keeping everything contained in this bathroom, so. Absolutely not. Hello and happy Sunday. It is 103 on the clock. I'm still wearing my bonnet. <laughs> I ended up, I don't think I really showed, oh, excuse me. I don't think I really showed you guys um, too much um, for my hair, but I ended up doing some like kinky straight clip-ins and these two little braids in the front. I made a little TikTok, little real girl, so y'all will see. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and, actually this morning I cleaned up my bathroom this bathroom from yesterday that I was doing my hair in. After I was done doing my hair, I just had enough. I just left everything there and I was just like, I'm just done. <laughs> so I cleaned up all of that. I kind of organized these boxes a little bit more, um, washed up my muffin pan because I made some muffins last night. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Y'all remember we got this mad long ago. Like it's been, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since we received this. This is our dish drying rack the main reason i hadn't put it out is because i was just like do i really want to take up half of my sink with this like i just don't know how this is going to work out for me i like the idea of it not being on the counter but i'm just like okay what if i need to like wash chicken i have to take it out of the sink and like wash the chicken or i don't know or i'm just like okay what if i have things that are like drying but i need to wash dishes so now everything is like getting wet i don't know i feel like what i'm gonna do is put this out i think you have like almost what do you have like two months to return things to amazon i think like 60 days so i'm gonna go ahead and put this out and honestly just see how it works for me for like a week <laughs> and then um if i feel like it's working i'm gonna save my other one i'm not gonna throw it away um but yeah i mean it's old but like i want to save it just in case like i have company or something and like we have a lot a lot of dishes and i feel like i need to put that on the counter um, to dry more. So anyways, girl, I'm saying all this to say, let's go ahead and put this together.
ready to go ahead and put this beauty room together. The sun has come out, so I feel like the lighting is looking pretty good. So I'm like, this is a perfect day. Let me go ahead and get started. So I need to um, just move all this stuff out of here. I decided that I'm gonna film a content video for this beauty room transformation. So y'all might get a little bit of footage or y'all might just get like a before and after because I'm also filming a reel and a TikTok as well. So we'll just see what gets put into the vlog, but just know I'm about to get started on this. When I come back, we'll probably be putting the bookshelves. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. I have no idea. So just stay tuned for the ride. Okay.